I just like to thank you for this uh, second opportunity. I know I'm a bit nervous, but you know how interviews can go. We're all professionals here. As you know, my name is Francis, and um, I'd qualify myself as a as a real go-getter, and I'm willing to achieve my goals in any way necessary. And I hope that our goals align. Where do I see myself in ten years? Well, that's a a great question, a, a very common question, but it's a it's a good question nonetheless. I, uh, I find myself answering it in different ways every time, but, but there, there's still there's still constants. I always see a big house, one with those white picket fences like you see in the movies. I see a beautiful wife and a, a child, a, a boy, one who I can raise and show him how the world really is from the start. Oh, I know, I know. You want me to say what I can do for your company. Well, I, I think it's obvious. Expansion. I will deal with the department in mergers. And in my first year, I will increase the profits by the company by 100%. And you will have no choice but to give me a beautiful and intelligent secretary. But not too beautiful or intelligent. I don't want my wife worrying every day I go to work. Why? Am I leaving my current job? Well, it, it, it's, it's the possibilities that your company uh, gives. Um, I, I had a certain disagreement with my previous employer. Um, I just think that I didn't really see my worth or value to the company or the revolutionary ideas that I had for it, and I just think that he was something. Why was I fired? Well, that's not very nice of you, is it? I already told you what happened. There was a conflict of foresight. And he did not see the vision that I had for the company. But I see that you can see. Where and how do I deal with stressful situations? Well, as I've told you before, I am a born leader. I believe that any situation can be resolved with strong words or a, a hard hand. Oh, uh, it's, it's clear my nerves have gotten the better of me. I, I just want to thank you for meeting me today. Um, I hope I'm answering every question to your liking. You know how stressful interviews can be. I know you know. You don't have to rush to tell me. All those leading questions. Questions designed to trip people up. To make them seem unfit for the position. Oh, they said Coke and you want them to say Pepsi. Do you know what? I actually don't think you know what you think you know. You just sit there and judge people. 
sit there and judge and see who's worthy. Denying them the right for something that they work so, so, so hard for. Who gave you the right? When I came in here last week, I was so nervous. I had my portfolio set and perfect. I had my glowing recommendations of all my previous employers. Oh, except for that bastard Mike. Oh, I bet it was his fault. Oh, I bet it was his fault. You send some little man to meet me and watch me squirm. Make me feel like an idiot. And I, I'm no idiot. I'm a leader. So, I took matters into my own hands. I needed to see the head honcho. And here we are. And now, I have your clear and undivided attention. You're hanging on my every word. I idealize people like you. Because I know we're the same. And I came here today to show you. So, do you have anything else to say to that? Let me go, you freak! That's not, well, that's, that's not, that's not what I told you to say. That's not what I told you to say. We are going to do this one more time. All right? Hi, my name is Francis. <laughs>